Here's the first game of the 1970 NBA Finals, Lakers with Wilt against uh, Willis Reed and the New York Knicks. And um, I just don't understand why the Lakers didn't have Wilt shoot more. I just don't fucking get it, right? And um, Wilt, I don't understand why Wilt didn't start shooting underhand free throws like Rick Barry or something. Just to kind of, because he's like one for ten free throws, which is kind of shitty, right? Um, a lot of free throws, 38 free throws. What are we seeing here? So the Knicks won by about 12 points, right? Lakers have more rebounds, 57 compared to 48. And more friggin' uh, free throws. 38 free throws for the Lakers, 26 for the Knicks. So it's like, what's going on here, right? Did the Lakers have a ton of turnovers? And they don't record that stat. So it's like, okay, whatever. But um, let's look at the field goal percentages. Maybe the, I don't know, a lot. Yeah, see, a lot of the New York people, like Walt had a high percentage kind of thing of shooting. Oh, shit, Willis Reed had 37 points and 16 rebounds. Holy shit. On 16 for 30 shooting and 5 for 7 from the line. So he's really like 18 for uh, 33, which is pretty strong. Still a lot of bricks overall, but like New York was kind of an odd team. It was a very balanced kind of team. They'd have a lot of guys in like, you know, 15, 16, 17 points. Um... I think Dave DeBuscher was a very underrated guy. 19 points, 16 rebounds, 5 assists. And, like, he had he had some game where he had, like, 38 points or something. Like you never even heard of this guy. I mean, you've sort of heard of Dave DeBuscher maybe once in a conversation when Walt Frazier's mentioned, but the guy was like, you know, that's those are monstrous stats sometimes for, like, you know, like you know things where, like, nowadays they'd be like, oh, my God, that guy's like an up-and-coming star, you know, this kind of shit. Um... 